As a young woman who's visited 26 different countries, I've been dazzled by the city lights in Paris and Panama City, and I've watched the sun rise over the Sierra Nevadas and the Sahara Desert. I believe in the value of travel, and I believe other women know it too. Blame it on wild or eat, pray, love, women are traveling now more than ever. According to the Travel Industry Association, 32 million single women traveled at least once in 2016, and a third of those women traveled five times or more. Older women are traveling alone or with other women after retirement, while younger women are part of the most empowered and independent generation yet. Millennials are marrying later than their mothers and focusing more on self-fulfillment, and travel is a huge part of that journey. Women relish in the autonomy of discovering the world and oneself on one's own terms. I'm no Elizabeth Gilbert or Cheryl Strayed. I've suffered no loss of a parent, uncomfortable divorce, or heroin addiction but I too have been healed and enriched by perfecting my gelato order in my two sentences of fluent Italian and scaling mountains with everything I need to survive strapped onto my back. I've heard questions like, you're doing this whole hike on your own a hundred times, and now I can answer, damn right I am, and the views are spectacular. I've gone from a timid dreamer to a brave adventurer because of travel. A George Washington University School of Business study found that nearly two-thirds of today's travelers are women. In a world that's constantly asking us to prove ourselves, women want to live full lives, swimming in every ocean, treasuring each spectacular view, and falling in love all over the world. We do it for our mothers, our sisters, our friends, and our daughters. We do it for ourselves. I believe travel is the ultimate form of empowerment, and I'm packing my bags.